Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. What kind of clamps do you need for a CNC machine? I like to take the simple approach. Coming up after this. There's not a lot of force exerted by a CNC cutter in wood, but it's important to hold the material down firmly. The Z axis, the height, is often limited and you want low profile clamps so the carriage can clear them. A miscalculation of origin can still cause a cutter to attack a clamp. So nothing harder than aluminium is safest. Some would say all wood. My own solution is to have a grid of 5mm inserts fitted from the underneath and with the tops under the surface to allow cutting through material. These don't need to be accurately spaced, they're used individually. The clamps are simple strips of 3mm aluminium. I milled these out, but they can be made easily with hand tools. They are held down with dome head 5mm bolts. These are hex drive, so that I can easily use a cheap electric screwdriver for tightening and loosening. This saves a lot of time. All that is left is packing for the back of the clamps, to raise it just above material height. While you can use odd scraps of wood, I find that having a set of graduated packers saves time and means you always have suitable sizes to hand. My thinner ones I made from plastic packers that kitchen fitters etc. use. The colours mean you know the thickness immediately. The thicker ones are 9 and 12 mm ply. At least 4 of each means you probably have enough. You could just keep them in a tray, but I like to organise. I 3D printed a tray to store them. This is in my standard size, which I try to use for all storage. This, and multiples of this size, pack nicely together. I use the same size to make a collet store for my CNC collets. In use, you just put the clamps in place, add the packers, and drive the bolts down. Four clamps should be enough for most circumstances. If you, like me, mainly cut out parts on your machine or do low profile machining, you'll find that these clamps do all you need. I hope you found this useful and don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next time.